Welcome to the tutorial that explores the activity kits, Grade 1 English and French Immersion Versions, and Grade 2. We'll start by unpacking and beginning to organize a kit, then move to the pedagogy of the cards, how they were created, and how they can be used as a core resource in your math classroom. Each kit has two boxes. The first box is number, and the second box is the remaining four strands. At the front of the number box, you'll find two small booklets, the Getting Started Guide and the Pearson Mathematics Learning Progression. We'll talk about the Getting Started Guide in the planning video, but know that it includes tools to help you use Mathology. The Learning Progression is the backbone of Mathology. You can watch the Learning Progression tutorial to learn more, and we'll talk about it in relation to the cards shortly. You'll find a series of overview cards that describe Mathology including how to organize your kit, card descriptions, and kit contents. Next, there are the cluster cards or tabs. Each cluster represents a math concept. There are more than 20 clusters in each grade. You'll see that each card details contents, so they're handy when organizing your kit or when looking for a specific card. On to the main part of the kit. You'll find more than 100 double-sided teacher cards, student cards, some are double-sided, not all the teacher cards have a corresponding student card, and five double-sided multi-use cards. For example, a place value mat, a 10 frame. Note that there are 10 copies of each student card, as well as 10 copies of the multi-use cards. All cards are laminated. We'll use the first cluster card to organize the teacher and student cards. You would follow the same process to organize all of the cards. At the end of each cluster, you'll find a consolidation card, these cards look at multiple focuses in the cluster and can be used as a source of summative assessment. There are a few differences that we want to highlight about the Grade 2 kit. We've introduced two additional card types. Math Everyday cards are whole class routines that can be used to revisit concepts throughout the year. Each card has four activities, all guided by the same big ideas. There's a Math Everyday card for each of the 22 clusters in Grade 2. The other addition is 44 intervention activities, two per cluster, designed for small group, pairs, or individual work. These cards focus on earlier stages in the development of concepts, allowing you to support all learners in exploration of a shared math concept. Now let's look at the teacher cards. The cards were co-created and tested extensively by classroom teachers across Canada. At each grade, there are more than 100 cards. Together, they address 100% of your curriculum. Let's do a quick walkthrough of a card structure. On side A, activity details are included at the top of each card. There are two links to Mathology resources, recommended little books that support the math focus and the learning progression's big idea that is explored in the activity. Side A of each card details a game or an activity that explores a math concept and is fully developed as a three-part lesson. The goal when designing the cards was to make the experience as complete as possible so that you have everything you need in one place. For this reason, differentiation suggestions are included with the activity instructions. Probing questions are featured at the bottom of the card to help you uncover what students understand about the task and math concept. What to look for are observational assessment prompts that you can use in the moment to gauge student understanding and uncover misconceptions. The Highlight for Students section is filled with suggestions to help students connect to prior learning and encourage metacognition, building the interconnected network of math learning that is central to the learning progression. Side B of each card describes, through words and illustrations, what you might see students do and say as they complete the activity. There are typically six boxes, moving from earlier stages of development to grade-specific understanding, found in the final box. This information can be helpful for observational assessment. You can see at a glance what a student understands and use the next steps to guide them forward. As noted, typically there are six boxes that show a progression. In some cases, there may be four, or you may come across a side B where there are two sets of boxes distinguished by different colors. Each set shows the progression of a different focus, the second being more advanced. And certainly, last but not least, the student cards. These cards are often double-sided to support differentiation. In this particular example, 
Students using side A can count to 20. The card's extension encourages use of side B for those students who are ready to count to 50. The teacher cards are designed as full lessons. Mathology.ca will include all of these cards, teacher and student, as well as extended instructional content and supports, for example, mini lessons, and related professional learning at point of use. You can find line masters for the activity cards at the Mathology Marketing site, www.pearsonmathology.ca. Select Implementation Resources, then navigate to the Grade Level Activity Kit, and then to the relevant strand. The materials list at the top of the activity card indicates related line masters. You can download all masters or download line masters for a single card. They're available in two formats, PDF and Word, giving you an option to modify if you'd like. You'll also find grade level correlations on this site. We mentioned earlier that each activity kit addresses an entire curriculum. These correlations align all outcomes and expectations to the activity cards, mathology little books, and the learning progression. This identifies cards that correspond to parts of your curriculum, while the alignment to the learning progression provides the big picture of math learning. That concludes this tutorial on the activity kits. We hope that it's been helpful.